Hi there, this is Amy Goad. I'm going to show you a short video on how to use some of the accessibility features that are available for the second generation iPad and the new iPad 3. Okay, so you're going to go into your settings and you're going to want to go into general right there. You're going to scroll down and find accessibility and tap on it and then you'll need to look for triple click home. This is our home button. We want to link voice over to that home button now as a shortcut. So we're going to click on triple click home and these are all of your options that you can link so you don't have to choose voice over. I just find it's a good one. You can choose these other ones like zoom or the assistive touch which brings up a little box that has a lot more choices so that's also a good option and I'll go into that on another video. So we're going to choose voiceover. So then we can turn it off and on by touching our home button. All right, then to finish, just get back out. I'm gonna go to my main screen. I'm gonna go on the internet and show you that how this works. One thing it always starts out doing is explaining everything on the page, which can become a little bit annoying and hard for some students to sit through. So one way to handle this is to tell students to just tap on what they want read and the voiceover will go directly to that. So let's turn it on. Voiceover on. Landscape. Home button to the right. Safari. The History Channel. Link. Image. If it doesn't start reading what you want, you can tap. In June 1914, Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria was assassinated by a Serbian nationalist in Sarajevo, Bosnia. An escalation of threats and mobilization orders. I'm going to turn her off by tapping three times. And the reason you want to do that rather than tapping on the screen is once voiceover is on, it's a whole different tapping system because it's made for students that have low vision. So it's easiest just to hit the home button three times to turn it off. Let's go back into settings. We're going to slow her voice down by going into voiceover. We're not going to turn it on because that will make it all different the way we click. We know how to get it on. We're going to change the speaking rate. We're going to slow her down more like the turtle rather than the rabbit. Okay. And you can also adjust pitch and such to make that more comfortable for the student. Let's go back and see how well it reads now. A quick way to move between open screens is to use four fingers and swipe. We're back at our text. I'm going to turn it on with three clicks. Voice over on. Landscape. In late June 1914. Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria was assassinated by a Serbian national. I'm going to turn it off with three clicks. Bosnia. One, two, three. And, and she'll, she'll say like she did, voiceover off. All right, so that's one way to make text read. The other way to have text read aloud is to go back into settings and turn on a speech option. So let's do our four fingers back. If it doesn't go that way, go this way. And we're in general speak selection we're going to turn it on speak selection on again you can adjust the rate I prefer a little slower selection read selected content. let's slow it down even more speak selection read selected content and then go back let's try this out okay so here we're back on the internet page You can highlight what you want it to speak. So we can drag the blue dots to cover more text that we want read aloud. This one will be to go up. Oops, we don't want to go that far because she'll probably get confused with the images. Let's have it just start at the beginning of this line and speak. In late June 1914, Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria was assassinated by a Serbian nationalist in 1917 by the United States. So to make it stop, I just hit the home button. <laughs> um, but they can always go back into where they were. So again, what I did was I held my finger there until this came up, selected the text I wanted to be read, hit speak. 
an escalation of threats and mobilization. Of and I hit the home button to stop it. So if students find they're embarrassed by it reading out loud or the volume's too loud, a quick way to shut that off is the home button. Okay, so those are two options to make text read aloud. Thanks for watching.